Police in Olympia declared a riot today as opposing groups held simultaneous protests. Groups of people moved from the downtown area to the state capitol building and campus. Our Tony Black is there now. And Tony, we've known that there have been some arrests here, correct? Yeah, Washington State Patrol did say they have at least one person detained following a shooting here at the Capitol campus after some protests that were going on earlier today. Now, there's yellow crime scene tape up here behind me as the investigation continues. So here's what we do know so far. We have some Twitter video that was provided to us by Shauna that shows a large group of both pro-President Trump supporters and counter-protesters. Apparently, they arrived here around 10 a.m. This is at least the second week in a row these groups have been out here. But today's events were ultimately called a riot by Olympia police. Now, according to police, there were bottles and rocks thrown in the group of about 200 people, they estimate. And they say at some point between 2 and 3 p.m., a fight broke out. And that, according to police, is when a shot was fired and someone was hit. Now, we don't have any information on the victim's condition or their identity at this time. But meanwhile, WSP did send out another tweet confirming at least one person was detained. It is unclear, though, what side of the protest they were on or who that person is even at this time. And another comment that the Washington State Patrol made involved an explosive device that was apparently lit and thrown into the crowd earlier today. It did not go off. The bomb squad was able to take that and detonate it elsewhere. WSP added that had that gone off, it could have caused significant injuries to a lot of people. That's the latest we have here for now. In Olympia, I'm Tony Black, King 5 News.